Peace March today. It called the event Stand Up for Israel Never Again is Now. Instead of marching on campus at UCSB, they marched in downtown Santa Barbara from Lower State Street to the Santa Barbara County Courthouse. That's where students shared their thoughts on the violence in the Middle East. There is no solution that excludes the Palestinians. There's no solution that excludes the Israelis. And I think the most important thing today is if we're able to have discussions together, if we're able to have conversations, just to get to know each other, that's one big step towards peace. There's demonization of innocent human lives, whether it be Palestinians that are dying in Gaza, whether it be Israelis that are dying, Jews that are dying in Israel. So to me, it's just a wake up call of put the politics aside, regardless of what you think, and see humanity. Because that's a, it takes a human to just mourn the lives of innocent people that don't, don't deserve what they're going through right now and what they're experiencing. It, it makes me happy to see that we have so many people standing with us in these hard times. They held a moment of silence for the victims of the violence just as the courthouse clock tower bells chimed. Participants thanked Santa Barbara police for making them feel safe. They did not see any counter protesters during their peaceful march. Time now for our first look at the forecast, and Sean Quinn is in our First Alert Weather Center, and I hear there's rain up north. Yeah, there's a little bit of rain up north. It's been interesting to watch this system the last couple of days develop. We weren't exactly sure of its trajectory, and this time last night, and go ahead and follow my sword, actually said we didn't think we'd see a whole lot of wind tonight. Well, the opposite has happened because the system has come a little farther south, so really we're not expecting much in the way of, of showers. There's a chance for sprinkles over the next maybe day and a half for areas, especially north of Point Conception, but now we'll go ahead and focus on the wind issues and you can see just uh, right along the San Inez range right here and out in the ocean a very choppy sea as we're getting some pretty good gusts coming down the passes and canyons and under all this there is a wind advisory which actually extends we'll go ahead and see if I can put that up extends into Ventura County so you can see the mountain areas and go ahead and click on it you can actually get some information this will last until about 9 a.m. tomorrow very widespread so again as uh, last night as I uh, said that maybe we wouldn't see a wind advisory tonight we actually have and it's actually been expanded so it shows you how much these winds can be tricky to forecast and they are now fairly widespread across across Santa Barbara and Ventura County lasting until tomorrow morning. When I come back we'll talk more about the uh, the interim forecast with the sprinkle chances and also looking on uh, looking off toward next week. We have some changes coming and we'll talk about that highlight them all in one at a time in just a few minutes. Thank you Sean. In your eye on crime, one man died after a hit and run incident last night in the parking lot of a Home Depot. Lompoc police say when they arrived, they found a 42 year old man with major injuries. Life saving measures were performed, but he was pronounced dead at the scene. His name is being withheld at this time. An investigation into the fatal hit and run is underway. A backyard party in Santa Maria turned deadly overnight. Santa Maria says one person was shot and killed on the 1000 block of North School Street at about 1230 Saturday morning. Police believe a physical altercation during the large gathering led to that shooting of a 20 year old. Another person at the party was injured. That victim is expected to fully recover. However, the 20 year old died at the scene. This is an ongoing investigation. Still ahead from your weekend news channel, mortgage rates are skyrocketing, pricing out new buyers and sending some back home.
to your money now. Mortgage rates are on the rise once more, this time reaching their highest peak in more than two decades. Since late 2020, the average monthly mortgage payment on a new home has nearly doubled, and the number of homes for sale is down a staggering 45% from what it was before the pandemic. An 8% rate on a 30-year loan could cost borrowers as much as $400,000 more. And those who locked in lower rates years before aren't letting go of those properties. I think average home buyers right now are facing an absolute crisis. We need more houses. That's the way we're going to drive down prices. That's the way we're going to allow home buyers, particularly first time home buyers, who are really facing the brunt of this problem. The majority of the people who have bought in the last couple of years, they refinanced to two and a half percent, three percent mortgages. They're not selling and they're not putting more homes on the market. Experts predict it could be a while before those rates cool off. And if you're a millennial or a Gen Z with dreams of owning a home in this market, you might have to keep dreaming. A recent survey by Realtor.com and Census Wide found about 30% of those wanting to buy a home say they've moved back in with their parents in order to save up, and another 22% say they would consider doing so. Economic analysts say rising rent and inflation are limiting young buyers from being able to save up. Realtor.com says if parents aren't asking their adult kids to pay rent, potential home buyers could save more than $20,000 by staying with their parents for one year. Pink October events included a balloon release this weekend. Cancer survivors and those who have lost loved ones to breast cancer let go of biodegradable pink balloons on Saturday. It is part of the St. Paul Baptist Church's annual breast cancer awareness event in Oxnard. The church's reverend found a lump in his own breast and is getting it removed. I had a little lump <clears throat> and I went to go and see about it and they said, well, you need to get it out. You need to have surgery. So I'm having surgery on Monday, this coming Monday, to remove mass from this side and, and also the other side, maybe next year. But uh, I had it before. Uh, it's called gynecomastia. Uh, I believe it's uh, genetic. My father had it and he had surgery back in the 70s. So, you know, again, uh, if you're a man, please take it serious. Go and check yourself out. Make sure that you do self exams, just like the women. It's, it's something that could save your life. And the church also donated $2,000 to Ribbons of Life Breast Cancer Foundation based in Ventura. That nonprofit helps breast cancer patients find the resources they need. It also provides scholarships. Still ahead live at six, people enjoyed the last day of the Clam Festival in Pismo Beach. That and much more when your news channel returns. And our future cast, we've got radar and we have the arrow showing us the wind. We have kind of uh, some things to talk about. Definitely a busy forecast. Minutes away, stay tuned.
77th annual Pismo Beach Clam Festival took place this weekend. It is part of a three-day event. This family-friendly event brought live music, local vendors, and food trucks to, to the local community. The festival also had famous clam chowder cook-off going on, plus a special wine walk for all the wine tasters out there. And they didn't forget about the kids. A huge free kids zone included bounce houses and inflatables, and that event wrapped up today. Crane Country Day hosted a country fair today. First prize here is a Lucky's Montecito gift card. School in Montecito opened the Crane Country Fair up to the entire community today. Carnival games filled Norm Sprague's field, and kids of all ages enjoyed rock climbing while little ones enjoyed pony rides. The fair also had a petting zoo, a photo booth for groups, photos with friends. They also had face painting and so much more. This is just an incredibly fun community building event. We love to have people join us on our beautiful campus from from all over and just have a wonderful fall day. A lemonade stand helped people quench their thirst and the country kitchen served up food and treats. Crane Country Day educates kids from kindergarten through the eighth grade.